This is a flat plate electrolyzer pattern after the uh, SID cell. And these are the basic components. And a 40 mil PVC uh, shower liner. It's 40 mil. And then these stainless steel plates, flat plates, they're about, you know, maybe a sixteenth of an inch also. They're pretty thin. And then uh, just cut them so that we can have electrical connections. Very simple. Just a lamp cord with connectors, push-on connectors. Those will go right on there and then connect to the battery charger. These are some pretty heavy end caps. They're an uh, inch thick. Much heavier than what you really need because I'm not running any serious pressure or anything. And uh, this will be the bottom edge. And uh, this it's a quarter inch NPT hose barb. And then on the sides you see the quarter inch bolts with uh, 5 16 inch clear tubing to act as insulators so the bolts don't short out against the plates. And then uh, these are drilled through. And then, see that's the bottom side so we put water in on the bottom. And then start out with a negative plate. And I'm handling just the edges of the plates rather than the center. Oops, it's supposed to be on the outside. Gas out outside. Outside water in. All right, so there I'm going through the hole, and then I'll just throw on one of these gaskets. Make it lay flat. And a plate. gasket. Now this is the second time that I've built this cell. The first time I had uh, two gaskets in between to make the plate spacing uh, 16th, 80, 80 mil, you know, which is I think a 16th of an inch. Alright, I'm gonna just continue doing this, laying the uh, the gaskets and the plates until I've got a full stack. Got the uh, plates all stacked up and here you can see how the uh, plates are going to come off in different directions so these will be one polarity this will be the other. So basically I can have a, a negative here and then uh, two anodes, two positives. And I just use a screwdriver to kind of center the plates up on both ends and you'll notice that since I've removed the extra spacers the uh, standoffs have to be changed so I've got some of those from when I initially made the sale so I'm going to replace all these with the shorter ones and then put the other uh, cover on the end and then bolt it down this is after uh, putting all the plates together in the gaskets and then I put nuts in the washers on all the bolts and we're looking at the bottom of the cell now and, uh, it's getting dark the mosquitoes are getting kind of bad so I'm going to take it inside once I get everything tightened up I'm just going to tighten each one of these bolts a quarter in a quarter turn or so and then we'll go in and wire it up okay so this will be a negative wire put it on the outside
And that is it. And for plumbing, things are equally simple. It's just a piece of 5 sixteenths tubing. I've got a T here, which I'll take the T out and put the funnel in its place. Water will go in here up to about this level. And it'll be visible in the tube. And then the gas will come out of the top. The water will recirculate in there. You use very little water because the water would be uh, only occupying the space that's cut out for each one of these gaskets.